Hey, what's going on? It's me, Sean. So there's this new Broadway play called Anastasia, and it states that uh, Anastasia uh, lived beyond the Romanov uh, Empire and that she lived in Paris, you know, after her family was killed and after amnesia. And this is very much a lie. Uh, the Bolsheviks, when they captured um, uh, the king and queen, uh, the Tsar and Tsarina, rather, of Russia... Uh, the king was killed instantaneously with a gunshot, and the, all the children were taken off in a, in a train in actuality, and uh, they were killed, and uh, Anastasia was one of the uh, children that were killed, unfortunately. And the Romanov family did not survive uh, the time of the Bolsheviks. I don't know why this lies perpetuated. Now, uh, the Queen Tsarina had slowed in into each child's clothing, uh, rubies. Uh, the rubies were subsequently taken out, and you won't have any uh, Russian rubies from that time either. So I don't know why there's always a new play or movie saying that Anastasia Romanov lived beyond the time of the Bolsheviks. She died, unfortunately, with her brothers and si uh, sisters. Uh, Nicholas was the youngest boy, the only boy in actuality, and he was also murdered, murdered by the Bolsheviks in the woods of, of, the, uh, of Russia. So I'm sorry to say that going to see the play or musical Anastasia is a great big lie. Well, not going to see it is a lie, but what the play uh, perpetuates is a lie because uh, the Tsar and Tsarina and all the children were killed at that time, unfortunately.